Re really? This is what you're going for? For the music here? That's pretty good. <laughs> it's like actual, like, religious music at this point. I mean, I'm gonna do the regular intro. I know this is gonna be a separate ambush video, but I just wanna take this moment. You know, wish uh, Merry Christmas, other assorted holidays, uh, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, like, I, I don't wanna go too much on them because I just don't know them, right? But, uh, everyone out there, hope you had a good one, got a good time with friends and family, maybe, I don't know, considering the situation out there, maybe that's not always advisable, depending on where you're living. Still, hey there everyone, this is Aokao, uh, and obviously I'm not gonna do anything here, because we got things to check up on, and before I start, uh, shout outs to Awu, who sent me an ambush, Right while I was recording, huh? Well, you know what? Pretty good timing. Uh, is this the order? No, the order is all weird. I'm gonna go by Steam because I know that on Steam itself, because I know the order is gonna be okay. <laughs> Perfect timing. It's 9 a.m. right now. <laughs> so, 9.05 at this point. Yeah, so I would send me a gift card for Amazon. But, like, there's no real way, like, of, like... Filming that, like, other than filming my email or my Amazon account, two things I'm not too super keen on doing in case, but I thank you in DM, like, personally on Discord, and I'm thanking you here now, right now. But now, so we got ambush, so we got stuff on in Parkhouse DM, but a lot of them seems to be explicitly to be consumed after. The steam aspect so let's get steam on steam on oh jesus christ it's your birthday today that is a lot this is ridiculous and so like i said this is pretty early on in today okay no i guess I don't know the order of this. Yeah, these 24 the order is just absolute nonsense. Well, we're going to work our way up no matter what. Um before I go, uh before I start, uh I'm just going to say this now. So like I said, it's kind of early on. There's a possibility that people plan on giving something to me like but they like they realize that oh no, but he already filmed the thing so I missed my shot. Depending on how it goes, I could see myself doing a DLC ambush video tomorrow on a 26 for anyone who like just due to bad timing uh, missed me getting the video but beyond that though at that point uh, that'll be it uh I, I just want to reassure anyone who might be worried that you know they missed the boat and even then like even if I didn't make a I'm gonna make a video about a gift you give me like realize I I Thank you, like, you have all my thanks, you have all my appreciation, my, my dignified, uh, ultra-platonic love. <laughs> but here we are, uh, I'm gonna center this so we mostly see the game, because I'm reading what y'all are saying, so here we go, well, let's start this. Cow cow, I guess, second to give you switch on the 25th. <laughs> Fusion War, that's right. You gave me my my switch, like a few advent passes, and that was a shot. Well, here's Mighty Switch Force, but it's a collection. So, it's a lot of fun with four games uh, Official Patrician Wagon. You'll use your platforming, puzzle, and level altering siren to catch criminals. Okay. Four players co op, which, okay. But I. I think I've seen the lady, like the main lady on that banner, like in in, in Salty Bat, or more likely Sprite Club, <laughs> somehow. Mighty Switch Force, I'm pretty sure I've heard this before. I'm I'm pretty darn god sure. I don't know when though, but no yeah, puzzle and platforming, that's that's the type of game I like to play. Fusion! Thank you, you've been a part of a close part of the community for a very long time. If you are on my Patreon Discord, you will have met her cats. <laughs> Simon! Yes, in Germany, we open presents on Christmas Eve. So here's one on said day. People talked about 2D stealth games. 
Here's an excellent one I think you'll enjoy, Simon. Uh, I think you'll like and enjoy. I ought to complete that so badly. I'm sorry, but Simon, thank you. Mark of the Ninja. Rem I've heard of this also. I don't think I've ever seen like any footage or played it, obviously, but I'm, I've heard of this. I heard it's really good. Masculine Ninja, you'll know what it is truly to be a ninja. You must be silent, agile, and clever. I'll wait your opponent. It's a world of gorgeous scenery and flowing anime. See? Talk about gorgeous scenery and flowing animation, and like before we even start talking about the gameplay, like you 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 already kind of starting to hook me in. Like you're do you're doing the groundwork here. Well, thank you, Simon. Thank you. I know you've been kicking around for a long time too. Watch Simon Sonic uh, 06 LP. It's pretty good. It's on YouTube. Uh, Web. Yeah, Web. I saw the trailer earlier this year. Hello, Axilla. I'm not sure you'll have the time to play this, but I wanted to at least show you some appreciation after watching you for 10 plus years. Thank you for being you. Enjoy, Axilla. No, yeah, it looks super cute. And honestly, it looks it looks gorgeous. And also, it's a spider. Like, I don't know. Uh, games where you play as an animal that are, like, really animal and that are not, like... Like, you know, like, you know, that, that look and behave like the animals are meant to be. I always think those are really interesting. And here you get to be an adorable spider. Uh, I guess if you're an arachnophobe, you probably don't want to play this. But I'm not, so I do. So this is the game that interrupted me slightly yesterday. I don't know why it's, like, in this position here, but I don't know the magic of... Of, of Steam. Rao Palooza, I want on the train. Love watching your three vids each day. Thanks for make. Here's short, silly, weird Oregon Trillish schmuck. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oregon Trail schmuck. Super amazing wagon adventure. Oh my gosh. Cooper Tree Myron traveling west along a wagon trail. Getting some short scenes of sequence together in semi. Okay, I mean. That doesn't say a lot, but then I realized that, no, yeah, the driver of the caravan there has this massive gun. Pixelated, made of Frankfurt. Okay, <laughs> alright. Boop. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Shane, the destroyer, or otherwise. I don't know how you get that last night, it's pretty impressive. Hey, Sugar Frosted! Oh, hey you! Go, big guy! Hey, that's a... That's a WarioWare reference. You go, big guy. Best wish. Sugar Frost! Sugar Frost! Thank you. Russian Subway Dogs. <laughs> okay. fast paid arcade game inspired by the real-life stray dogs of the Moscow Metro. Compete in online leaderboard progress to challenging campaign while all I can guest critters from your fave games. What? <laughs> Well, you can bark fire, I guess, and cook bears, which I don't know if dogs can do that. Can you steal enough food to survive? And yet, they show this really happy puppy there. Really happy about owning a hat and having a tiny burrito. Russian Subway... Now, I know about the real uh, thing of Russian... Like, they're just... They're straight off. And in Russia, there's a really big, like, stray dog problems. Like, they are everywhere. And some of them learn how to use the public train to travel around. It's pretty impressive when you think about it. And someone made a game, an arcade-like game about it. Oh my god, is the actual cookie clicker. That's... Oh no. <laughs> I didn't... Yeah, I guess I did know. Did I know? Well, now I absolutely know. Yeah, it started out as a web thing. Tori. And surprise, an ambush from inside your very mind. Uh, thank you so much for having such an amazing supportive community for us. Big ol' ASCII heart. Buckle up, Tori and Cam. An idle game about make cookie. No, yeah, it's a cookie clicker, except, like, from what I understand, they actually, like, have systems in place. Like, you actually do things. There's, like, actual, like, resource management systems beyond just, like, clicking on something. Like, that's where the I like, that's the grand cookie clicker is the grandpa of all like idle clicker theme of games, right? Ooh. Oh. Oh. I didn't even play near yet. Now I got the prequel. 
<laughs> Please receive this ambush with one of my favorite pandemic coping tools this year. Character limits are tyrannical, so I'll explain more in the later. Character limits are tyrannical, so I'll explain more in the letter later. Um, so it's possible that you're one of uh, the DMs waiting for me over on Talk House. Very tired, ashes of dreams. Lovely, lovely, lovely username, by the way. I just feel like pointing out. Upgrade prequel to Near Automata. Oh, gee, strange time book. I search for the sealed verse in order to save his sister, Yona. Yeah, 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 right. So there was a Nier game before, and then there was... That was just kind of, like, not really well known. And then there was Automata that really busted on the scene. And I think that's a modern remake of that older game. Because I remember a plot about, yeah, looking for sister, but then the localized version, they changed it to the dad and complete, like, to the play the father instead and with a brand new, like, character model and stuff. Fascinating, just kind of whole thing going on here. But you look at the banner art and it's very reminiscent of Automata. I think they realize <laughs> where the money is. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll accept this. Thank you. It's one of those I definitely want to play, but when when is that going to be? I don't know. Oh, the cow the first. Seriously, though, thank you for another year of great videos. Cyril, keep being here. Have the most love slash hate game I played this year. I love it and I hate it. Best wishes, Cyril. Cyril, you know how to sell something to me. Fue... <laughs> Phonotopia Awakening. F Phonotopia, maybe? Awakening? And Barker, Grand Adventure! And Phonotopia! An action adventure puzzle platform inspired by the great classics. I mean, what does that mean? Classics of what? Literature or video games? Is it a video game about video games? I have. You're keeping involved. It'd probably make a lot more sense if I, like, watch the trailer or something, which I might do one day. Oh, don't worry about it. Phonotopia. Again, I don't think I've ever heard of this game before. Ah, you're a piece of love for literally every day, and they always make my day, too. Anyway, here's my 2021 Goaty. Oh, but it's a puzzle game. That sounds like a bad time for me. It's <laughs> Solus. Solus 128. The 128 is part of the name. Game of interconnected puzzles where you redirect and reconfigure rhythmic pulses of light to breathe life back into an ambient machine. Well, the story sounds fantastic. BAFTA Scotland game winner, too. Huh. Okay. Alright. I am open to the idea of playing pure puzzle game. It's just, I have to realize that if I do that, I feel like the audience would have a worse time than I do. The third! Anyways, I don't have much else to say, except thanks for make. Have a game about hugging furries or something? <laughs> Merry Apes mess at Ow Cow! Spirit Fair with a big ol' really ugly registered mark right in the title. Farewell Edition. Spirit Fair is a cozy management game about dying. It's fair master to the deceased, build a boat to explore the world, care for your spirit friends. Whoa, what? So, okay, so it's like the game and like three like content updates, like basically like free DLC or something. Jeez. Um, well, that got real weird in the product description. Whoa, all right, I clicked on that in the library and I feel like even Steam was kind of like reeling in. <laughs> Hey, I've heard of this game, Bug Fables. Last minute ambush? Hey, Ziggle. After the success, I'm told, of Superstar Saga, surely Paper Mario's coming someday. Here's the best Paper Mario. It's a bug game, the best kind of game. I mean, Hollow Knight's a bug game, so hard to disagree there. Bug Fable. Look at that, I got all these numbers. No, no, yeah, uh... Uh, so, I've mentioned this channel once and, like, once or twice, Alex Zener. He plays a lot of indie games that I share interest with. He spent, like, half a year or something playing this game. Uh, yeah, Superstar Saga was a lot of fun. I've heard this RPG, though, is pretty long, but it did look, from the little I've seen, very adorable. 
uh, this nice like paper like sort of style. So now I understand why you're mentioning Paper Mario and how you got me the Paper Mario the best one. I understand what you're saying now, Ziggle. Ooh, I heard of this game definitely. Uh, Rao Cow, a link as Steam characters limit is silly. Hey, Sturgaton. <laughs> <laughs> buckle up, buckle up! <laughs> Alright, before I click on this then and make this disappear, I guess I'm gonna open up this space bin. Alright, just making me do things here. What the heck? I can just copy and paste this. Flavor. Yeah, oh yeah, here we go. People finding solutions. Oh, look at that. I got a Deepung file waiting in in the wings after I'm done. Oh my gosh, my real life uh, in shambles. Hey, Rao Cow! <laughs> I just couldn't help but notice how you signed. <laughs> Hope you're having a happy holiday. It'd be hard not to have a happy holidays with the absolute inundation of love I have been having from you guys this year. It's like, it is insane. I, I don't know if it's like, because digitally it's a lot easier for people to reach me. But there's just so many people, just so many people... Took a little bit of time and, you know, a little bit of money in some case and toss it just for me on my way. I've been feeling it, you know. Anyway, uh, ah, as that song goes and all that pizza, ZZ, I would have participated more in the advent, but I caught up in other things and you know how that goes. Oh, well, I know. Like, I know you were busy in December. Like, I know. Don't worry. I know we got like a bajillion other games in your Steam library, so here's another one. You gotta make it an even bajillion and one for balance. Wow! Thanks for all you do and the friendship we've gotten to share together. Your pal, Sturge. Ah, buddy. It's not a problem at all. I don't know why I answered that like that. It's not a pro- what am I- it's not a problem being your pal. <laughs> this Galusium I've heard a lot from, and I've had people like even suggest it to me outright. Which wow, people suggesting to me games. Uh, I don't. I know it's an RPG though, so it's not, that's why I've always been kind of oh yeah, it looks cool. It does look cool. I've seen like little little bit of footage. It does look kind of cool. But by kind, I mean really. It's the kind that means really. Simon's back. Uh, oh, it's another Simon, because the name is different. There's sci-fi. Okay, you gotta be careful when people use their real name, because that's shared in the real life. You already had my other two gifts idea. How dare you? And where the rest of you... Oh, no! What? I'm so sorry. Why am I apologizing for this? I don't know, but... <laughs> Gianna Sisters, 2D... Ooh, ooh, okay, I see. Remake of the two of the DS game from a billion years ago. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What started off as a very, very blatant Mario clone back in like the Amiga days. And at some point, just got to turn into its own little franchise. And the art's pretty cute here, though. We got like owls. Uh, balanced, all balanced for hours of... What are you balancing? The controls? and the, I guess it's just the gameplay? It's a weird thing to talk about, I feel like, in, in your product pitch. Maybe not! I don't know, but thank you. Uh, I appreciate that you managed to find something to throw my way. Uh, I shouldn't say like that. No, but, but you know what I mean, though. <laughs> yeah, honestly, at some point, I wonder if it becomes hard. Like, you want, like... I don't know. I don't want to think about this. This is a weird path to take my brain in. Ambush! Hopefully not too late. See, this is why I made a thing on the start of the video. A friend recommended... Uh, a friend that recommended your content for ATS. I started watching your other LPs as well and am still highly entertained. Thank you. Kablam! Hedgy! Hedgy, yes! Yes, yes! Wobble <laughs> I can't believe that, you know... ATS, putting that out there, and that's right, I'm sunken in, people would otherwise be completely innocent to what I'm putting out there myself. Big ol' trap being set out. 3D pet simulation, where you raise your own personal hive of mutant dot. That's a sentence. Physically simulated all the way down to their guts. Weird, but now the name makes sense. Uh, 
Well, as long as a casual and chill sandbox where your volleys want to care for their very own virtual pets, present unique stress free environment. There's a rainbow in the banner. That's how you know. Wobble dog. <laughs> Internal organs physically simulated. That's what I need in my chill time passing day. Just such a weird thing to think about. Oh, cow. Yo! I see you already have Bastion and Hades, and figure you should have Transistor and Hades too. Because every, everything made by Supergiant Games is great. Merry Tree, Merry Yuletide, best wishes, Red. Red, thank you, uh, thank you. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've heard a lot of good from, uh, from Pyre, and now it's here. Although I don't know if I know anything about higher other than that one of the faces in the crowd shot in the back of the batter looks an awful lot like a stylized hollow knight pyre's a party based rpg oh okay okay lead your band of exiles to freedom through a series of mystical competitions in the campaign oh also there's a versus mode in the party maybe it's like not turn-based our party based rpg I mean, I can't see how head-to-head -head versus mode would work otherwise. Now, there's a weird thought to just kind of linger. That's probably not the point of the game, but it's where my brain went. Hey, there's Transistor. Yeah, 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 yeah. You mentioned that. It's called World Transistor. Oh, that's a very, very, very brief little descriptor. Also Transistor. I like a super giant game. I, it's like a company for whom I feel like I heard about every game they've made, but I have, like, no actual content with any of them. Mr. Amoeba. Uh, thanks, thanks of 12 plus years of daily L- Whoa, you are, like, one of the OGs. Have a quirky action RPG about a zombie chef. It's still in early access, but should done soon. The message box is too small. Oh, I see. Kind of cutting off some of the- <laughs> Some of the excess words there. I get that. Dungeon Munchies. Okay, so a sh so food game but it's like dungeon monsters, like Toriko or something. And now monsters to cook and eat them. Yeah, okay. Okay, all right. Uh, that sounds like it could be a lot of fun. Uh, quirky actions, but action though. So it's not pure RPG. See, RPG is a dangerous, it's a dangerous word. Because I always think about like that... It's going to be, like, turn-based, but not necessarily. X-Fix! What? Ambush! I apologize for not giving a video game, but I was unable to prove their existence. I do will not even attempt to pronounce that. <laughs> there is no game. There's no game. See? 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 I knew it! Video games are not real. Finally, we have video evidence. Wow, it took a while, but... I can finally put my mission to rest. Maybe. I should probably play the game, though, to, like, just verify their sources. But, I mean, if you're going to make a game about the fact there are no game, like, it's... I, I, I feel like looking at their sources would just be an extraneous amount of effort, you know? We should just take it at their word. But, well, why is this box so huge? It's like, oh, it's because we put that space there... This is Los Angeles Stand Ambush, uh, part Advent. Uh, you've been a staple of my Let's Play watching since Money Must Die and wanted to pay it forward for all you do. Best wishes, pretty Sammy. Yeah, you're the one that popped in while I was starting this video this morning. Astalon, Tears of the Earth. Upload your pack with the Titan of Death, Epimetheus. <laughs> okay so it's uh but it sounds great like first climb yeah solve so you know platforming puzzle solving twisted tower and save your village and you got all these anime people and uh no thank you Asalon tears of the earth i'm trying to think if it's a name i've heard of but i'm pretty sure i haven't seen this like art before which i don't think i have there's an implication that their gameplay is very different because the one in the middle looks like a robot. <laughs> Maybe it's just really stylized like knight armor, but I can't help but read it as robot. Thank you. Uh, you know, you, you, this goes out to everyone. You don't have to repay me for videos I put out 
at first, even just for fun, out there on the internet. But I will accept it. Thank you. Yeah, this got 24th, but I mean, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm gonna add it to my library. Nothing, everything. Oh boy. <laughs> the whelm, the whelms are still extremely there. Whoa, I just heard the voice in the apartment. If you heard it, I apologize. I'm going to close Steam. Here's Pilly. No music because Smibax is not in character. That's not a word I'm looking for. It's not selected. Here we go. That's what I was talking about. Part two, part of part one. I got all of this. So you see, like, there's like mentions about like what's going on. So we'll start from the bottom and work our way up. The subject, Ethanu. All right. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, that's where the things kind of picked in here. That's kind of weird. But it's a big old ham. And that's a big old bush. Incoming cover. Incoming. What is happening? Okay, ambush incoming. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, by the way. Boop. Yeah. <laughs> Continuing that doom train here. Kind of the arch. Cat uh, Alice, so I've been watching her video for about eight years now, give or take, and outside some meme donations you have put upon, I haven't really given anything back. Well, keep saying it's not necessary. I appreciate it, but sometimes we make it sound like it's something you absolutely have to. It's, it's okay. But Wolfenstein, of course that would be available on Steam, right? I've played that game a tiny little bit. Uh, whoa, this text is kind of funny. Maybe it was the fact that people got to blow away Nazis. Maybe it was the sheer challenge of it all. For whatever reason, Wolfenstein 3D and Spear of Destiny pioneered the first-person shooter genre and brought its legendary creators, id Software, worldwide notoriety and numerous award. Uh, yeah, honestly, I feel like if an informal All the Dooms happen, of which I have the ingredients to do so, I just had another GIF from the Urch Poppin'. I feel like Wolfenstein is an obvious part of that. Oh boy. Um, all right. Hey, re wait. Return to Wolfenstein. Is that the original game? Turn cat like the uh, original like Apple II game. I've kind of been feeling a little guilty for this and been credited for contributing to last year's event despite not doing anything. <laughs> Did that happen? <laughs> I was hoping that the blurb here would mention it, but yeah, I think that's a poor of the original, like, weird, like, 2D game, maze game. Uh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this is happening live. So I decided to make up for lost time by spamming you with several games via Steam that you may or may not enjoy. <laughs> so the joke here, by the way, for those who don't know, Super 3D Noah's Art was um was a real game that was released on a Super Nintendo. But so okay, so it wanted to port um What's his face? The video game. Uh, Wolfenstein to the Super Nintendo. But Nintendo didn't want to. So, from what I heard, it basically gave their code or, like, just outright. Yeah, like the, Wolfen, the, the Wolfenstein code to the company that made the Super Noah Treaties Arc. And they just used that to make their game. And then they just released it, like, unofficially or something. Like a bootleg. It's. It's a pretty wild story, and, like, it's, it's pretty funny. I know, sorry! Sorry, Ethanu! Alright, yeah, I did open up the first one, because you told me that an ambush was coming. Alright, dear Rao Cow, I don't know why I'm here. All I know is that I must ambush. The priest Mebex preamble has to reach at least half an hour at all costs. We will reach it. <laughs> we will. We're almost there. Um, so hi, I comment on your videos sometime. I, I, I used to use the talk house a bit, but traditional forums are icky to me, so I don't anymore. 
I couldn't tell you why. I mean, honestly, like, traditional forums are a dying breed of using the internet. Like, I, I'm not taking it personally. Don't worry. I don't uh, really have much to say. I could talk about personal stuff and even put it in the spoiler so nobody else gets to read it. But, I mean, the closest we've had to an interaction is you responding to a few of my comments. So that... That'd be kind of weird. I could talk about how I've watched your videos for like a decade. That's a cliche bordering on self-parody at this point. Instead, I'll share a picture of a cool bird. But it's nothing to do with my current life trajectory or nothing. You know what? That is a cool bird. Whoa, is that natural? It's like split cleanly in half almost between red and white. I mean, no, like the breast hair is white and wings white. But look at the head. That's wild. That's an anime bird you found. Thank you. Yeah, you know what? I appreciate these words. Thank you for sharing. Even if you feel like you're not saying much, the fact that you are reaching out at all to say something is full of meaning in and of itself. By the way, during, while that was going on, while I was reading this, this popped up behind a window. I've also included some of its DLC to ensure that I can get my entire message to you, so I apologize if it feels like I'm cheating some of these gifts. <laughs> I don't know what talisman is. All right, it's a season. It's a digital edition. A season pass. Also, success is sufficient privilege. Okay, I see something hecked up, and you just sent me. Okay. So, no. So right now, the issue is I have... It's a season pass, but it's not... Okay. Well, I don't know what's going on there. But overall, I just wanted to say thank you for all the years of providing entertainment for me and others like me without asking for much in return for it. Well, I guess I got, like, the actual... Well, it's still into his real world going to aerial adventure as knights in this classic Saturn... Re so it's a remake. God damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, I feel should go without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway from the Lord Ruler of Darkness and Throne Within the Ebony Sky, Mary. I feel like I need to just accept this. Whoa, okay. I'm just gonna accept this real quick. And this it won't let me. Whoa, it didn't even say Abba Barber Burb or anything. It just kind of popped. Also, that was Garfield Cart. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I feel like I kind of glanced over that. So, will you update this or? Because now it's like, okay, maybe if I do this. Yeah. Yeah, so this, this, it will not let me take. All right. You said Mary. Like, I don't know if I need to wait and see if I get the last one. There we go. Christmas. I hope you win at all games you play. <laughs> for the, hope you win all the games you play for the next year. And I don't know if any of these games will be played within that time. But I hope you enjoy. Best wishes. Dirch. Yeah. Garfield Cart, the second one. The very important and a big part of our culture. Yeah, so I don't know what's up with Talisman there, but oh, maybe I have. No, maybe I have to like have it installed. I think just owning it should be enough. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, I apologize, but I mean, you saw it, so. Okay, so. <laughs> This, this has become absolutely and completely absurd. All right, well, a cesspool of hatred. You got, you got, send me here this. Senan said in a strange order. Hello. Now we got double dragon neon. Anyway, I think I've been silly enough with the whole message thing, so this will be the last game in this batch. I'm giving to you again. Merry Christmas. Best wishes. The Arch. I heard about this game. I heard it's pretty silly, but it is a double dragon game. But like, I heard it's actually better than you'd think looking at it, something like that. I forgot the exact phrasing. I mean, you're saying it my way, so it must have some value. So thank you. Thank you for everything. Just the timing of this all was 
too absurd not to capitalize on it. <laughs> Sorry about interrupting a cesspool of hatred. Uh, this is now your turn. Wow, it's been the whole two years since I first sent in something for these things. Man, time sure flies in this lockdown hell world. So my initial plan for 2020 was to get more plushy swag from cons to pollute your home and make it even more impossible to traverse, thus completing the collective conquest of an internet video game person. But uh, then March 2020 happened, things obviously did not go according to my designs, things didn't go to a lot of folks design, and thus my already anemic social life fell into a coma. At least I started engaging more with my list of many, many, MANY Discord servers and distracted myself from the deep cesspit that is Twitter. Sometimes I question the benevolence of this curse of social media, but it has at least given me a measure of human interaction that I'd otherwise be denied. Then, 2021 happened, and in a series of decisions questionable to everyone, cons started opening back up in the summer with mask and vaccine testing mandates, so I engaged in some rampant consumerism buying more things, some which I'll probably send your way if physical advents start happening again. I know, I know, it probably gotten used to not having to worry about finding room for all the wonderful things you get in the mail, but I'm sorry to say that those times, as all times, will eventually come to end. And speaking of end times, the game I gifted you, Near Replicant vs. Square Root of 1.5, is that that number? That is so much easier to say. Is a game I've been thinking about a lot in this horrific pandemic hellscape. And even now, while I'm typing this, I'm listening to its absolutely beautiful soundtrack that I actually spent real-life money on. I know, it's incredible. Even though it's basically a remake slash remaster of a game that came out like 10 years ago that I already read the LP of and played myself, I still have a really strong association with it with regards to COVID and all. It's a game that was announced right at the beginning of the pandemic in March last year, released this year in a still ongoing pandemic, and even has a pandemic in the lore and the international response definitely. It's a little too close to home nowadays, uh, laughing five times, that instigate the state of the world that you've thrown into at the very start. The story takes place in basically the fading edge of human civilization, and there's a whole somber bleakness to it all with some honestly devastating story beats and side quests. The lighthouse lady still destroys me after all this time. But there's also a strange sort of hopefulness, especially with the new ending, E. It's like, even in a world that feels like it's quickly reaching its end, falling into the abyss with no way back, you can still find meaning in your life, connecting with people, and fighting to keep your cherished ones close through it all. It's something that's really stuck with me, especially now as it feels like we're starting to go back to the very beginning of this new variant. Maybe this game won't be for you. Maybe it won't even be on the channel. It'd certainly be a tricky LP. Just bring it there just so I know it's there. Certainly be a... Where was I? Oh yeah, it'd certainly be a tricky LP with all the playthroughs to get to the final ending. But I wanted to at least share my experiences with it and the impact it had on me and share it with you even if it just sits in your library. Anyway, that's my last minute piece. Have a Merry Crimbly and Happy Holidays, Mr. DeCow. Very sincerely, Cesspool of Hatred. Oh, just that letter though. Like this little piece of very personal writing. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna read that. Okay, so I looked at the Patapon and saw that Near Automata was at like second of the latest Patapon poll. Has absolutely no idea about that. I swear gifting you replicant was just a hilarious coincidence. Anyway, it's now the late time, so I leave you to slumber with horror and mirth, very reclusively, cesspool of hatred. Yeah, so right now on Patapon there is a vote. If you are a Patreon, you vote for a game that I'll play in like two months. So sorry about that. Uh, currently, Banjo-Kazooie is winning by a landmine. That's not a real word in this con- well, it is, but not- you know what I mean. It's not a real idiom. Um, it is super winning right now. Yeah, Nier is in second, Plumber Ball Season, Toho 17.5, and Magnol 2 are in the runnings. Just putting that out there, I don't know. And Ziggle has a little ambush note that I feel I should address. I'm uh, not exactly active in a broader community, like, at all these days. It's Ziggle! 
And I can't say I've been especially active with about watching your series lately either, though Maggle, Spire, and Advent concurrently is a powerful combo. But I'm always keeping an eye out for whatever cool thing you might be doing, and as long as I'm already deciding to ambush you on Steam, I just wanted to interject and say thanks for everything you've been doing all these years. I'm already pretty sure you've, I've got a backlog for the rest of my natural life, and it's showing no signs of slowing down. Happy holidays, and good luck with Maggle. I haven't... I haven't looked where I placed, but I'm used to being a fixture of uh, the gauntlet, so expect me soon, I'm guessing. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Ziggle. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sending this my way. Uh, thank you for the kind words. Am I done? Well, I mean, something just popped up, as I said. From Volgloss, hey, Baba is you. Definitely heard of this game. Oh, no, no, you can see it. If a, if, a, if, a, if, a, if a browser is covering OBS, that doesn't mean that it's covering... It's already 40 minutes, Jesus. It's your birthday. The real Amalana may not start here, but this may be the cleverest, most fun, pure puzzle game of the last couple years. Rules are made to be broken. Merry Xmas. Enjoy. Vol oh, Volgloss, yeah, of the Volglossary, of course. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Now you, you said it that way. Yeah, Baba Zoo is a pure puzzle game where you change things around and it's super rad. I haven't played it myself, but I've seen some of it played. It's super rad. It's such a cool concept for a game. And now I own it, and there's nothing you can do about it. Okay. A little bit of music. A little bit of crunchy-sounding church organs. I have to put a stop to this. I... I guess I'm just gonna put this out out there, but it's insane this feeling that I'm being overwhelmed by just how much love I've been given. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All right, any further gifts sent from now on will not be on video. It'll be for the after party. Well, we'll see if there's one. Maybe Volga's la- I don't know. I'm just yammering. There's been enough yammering here. Oh.